Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. And I'm over here. I may not see past this boundary wall, <sighs> beyond which Lee has some bounteous it goods is, laid for me. It is. Uh, picture the scene. Back in the 1960s, we have West Berlin this side, East Berlin this side, or maybe the other way around, and we have uh, the uh, the Berlin Wall. What should we call this? We should call this the, the Pedal Room Wall. I, I dividing came up with a great name for the, it, but uh, I forgot it. Capitalist West from the Communist East. I think it was the Tone Cupboard. The Tone Cupboard. Uh, and uh, anyway, today uh, the wall is taking on a far significant purpose. It is not designed to separate uh, a community. It is just designed so that Rob can't see this wonderful array of octave fuzz pedals that we have. Um, I will judge between them which may divide a community. So here we are, uh, the high tech whiteboard of doom uh, <coughs> telling you which 10 octave fuzz pedals uh, that we are about to uh, go through here and as is the norm in these videos Rob shall give each one a mark out of 10 and say something deep and meaningful. Because I'm very qualified to judge a fuzz pedal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is a range of price points here I believe from you know literally peanuts through to a uh, small mortgage um, and we will but I won't tell you uh, exactly what they are or even as we go through them because of course that may give away to Rob what they might be but at the end we'll have a quick recap of the pricing. So here's our clean sound we've got a we've got a Fender Strat into a, into a Friedman amp even a pink taco don't you know? Now, obviously with octave fuzz pedals here, I've got a mix of pedals that you just literally switch on and go, and then some with switches and different knobs on them. So obviously I will attempt to get cool sounds and do things as per Rob's instructions. Uh, but are we ready for the first uh, pedal? I was born ready. Okay, Lee. here we go. Take a running jump. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> chewy vintage kind of breakup tone that I like. Could I have a little bit more of the fuzz? Yeah. <laughs> Smack it off, so we don't get that strange interference <laughs> pattern sound. Um, I'm going to give that. Oh, he's going straight in. I'm going straight in. Yeah. Rock bitch style. <laughs> I'm going to call. That, I'm going to give that 8.4. Slamming straight in, uh, and we're going. I'm just going to write rock bitch style. <clears throat> uh, probably shouldn't go and check that out. That's on what the I like internet. to do. Uh, <laughs> I like to do that. I like to do that. I like to do that. Do you love me? Do you, do, you <laughs> <laughs> do you want to say anything else about that constructive? It had a really interesting vintage germanium type fat sound. Interesting. When you back off the volume, oh. this is what I like about okay. it. It's, it does like that do broken that. kind of clean, and then when you gun it up, it's that weird kind of broken, Billy Gibbons type Jimmy type Clean, vibe. Billy. You have, to, you have to roll that, it's fine. Jimmy vibe. Uh, it was very enjoyable. Very enjoyable. I really liked it, thank you. Rob Chapman's the best. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to write that in summary. I should learn shorthand, really, shouldn't I? So, uh, can you put your tuner on, please? Is it, if it's not oh. already. And in here, release the hounds. <laughs> Did you just darken it? 
No, I can't. Oh, uh, what was... So it's a little bit dark and a little bit uh, um, non-defined. So could you brighten it slightly? I, I can. We have tone, and I don't really know what I can do to. I, I can. If I start with the fuzz on zero and yes. I just bring it in until you go, there's the point. Okay. Yeah. So. I don't, I don't like it. Okay. It's just not a very that's nice it. sound. It's interesting because I liked that one more. But there you go. I think that's how the... the it had the a really, really harsh tone. So go on, give it a score. Four. Oh, dear. Let's hope you don't like these guys. Yeah. Um, and didn't... Too dark. you got to be honest, man. Oh, I agree. Too dark and just... What did you say? Didn't like it or too... What was it the word? It had a really you... harsh tone. It's, harsh it was kind tone. of nasally... It didn't sound very natural and it sounded... I don't know. Not... Natural. I'm gonna stop talking right now. <laughs> well, there we go. Sorry about that, Yoshi. You can cancel uh, Rob's endorsement contract for 2018. Um, let's try another pedal. Bright. It is. Oh, let me turn that down a little bit for you. Go. It's like a small weasel in a tube. Small. I'm just saying, it's a small weasel in a tube. 4.3. 4.3. Oh, we got some low scores on the fuzz this week. I there we I'm, go. I think I'm a very particular fuzz user. I think you are. If it's not of a particular this is kind all of fuzz. It's entirely subjective, obviously. That's the thing, isn't and it? And I think we should say again fuzz is probably the most subjective um, <coughs> effect that there is, and also the one most likely to change depending on the amp and guitar that you use. The problem use. is that first one was so good. Wow. What's that on it? It's got one of those fancy... It's got like a modern octave. Oh, you like mean a, like a pitch shift It's like a synth thing. octave. <laughs> Could you remove that horrible, modern-sounding synthy octave? Uh, I can. I can try. Sometimes I think companies can be guilty of designing something with with lots of stuff in it that it doesn't necessarily need, and 
this seems like an overly complex thing. Okay. I don't. That Give it a score. synthy sound for me doesn't sit with what yeah, I want. Yeah, I put that synthy sounding octave. I it put that overly complex. It doesn't sit with complex. what I want in my okay. head from a, from a fuzz. It doesn't mean it's bad. I, I just it doesn't. No, sit it's with fine. My, this is all I, about your personal preferences. And, and, and I don't like the yeah. So give it a score, please. Five. It okay. does a thing. It does a thing. But it doesn't do the thing that I want from a fuzz pedal. That's and that, sir, is entirely. Can you yes. put the tuner on, or is it already on? Uh, it's on. Excellent. So we are moving on to pedal number five. Ready to do some octave fuzzalicious. Uh, okay, so we got. Just doing some tuning. Good. Tuning is good. What happened there? Uh, there's a switch. Which okay. do you prefer? This one? Or the other one? <laughs> Weasel's big brother. Could you, you turn the fuzz down? Yeah. Horrible. Three, three point one. Wow. It's horrible. My God. Fuzz manufacturers of the world are just going like, <laughs> what's happening? I'm going to have to not feed my children Sweet for delay. a month. No mercy. Maybe it is just, maybe just, maybe just, oh, can you mute your thing? Yeah. Please. Uh, this is uh, perhaps not as helpful a video as we all hoped it might be. What's number six? Numero six. Can it save you know the what? day? It's not my job to be a liar. It's not my job. It's not my job to be a liar. No, it's my job to just Stay be honest. Stay out of politics then, Rob. This, <laughs> That's all I can say. It's all about, today is all about what I like. Really, really enjoyable. Okay, well that's a good thing. Uh, really enjoyable. Not as good as the first one, but it's still really good. I give this an eight for show. Could I? Could I? Th there's an octave in there, isn't there? Yes. It's a sub octave, yeah. Uh, both. Well spotted. Although I'm not supposed to be telling you these <coughs> things, but yes. Can you turn the sub off? Yes, I've done that. <laughs> You like that one? Eight. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Mute, please. Three, two, one. fuzz.
unwieldy. A bit unwieldy. It's, it's a bit word. harder. Good, good. It's a bit good. less forgiving, but it's got a nice tone. I'd give this a seven point six. How do you spell unwieldy? U N. Yeah. Wieldy. <laughs> w e i l d y. Uh, a bit unforgiving, you said, didn't yeah. you? Un. For get like uh, like, like it's Clint got a fluffy, Eastwood, a fluffy beginning, but then in the nice end. So fluffy beginning. What score was it? Seven point six, I think I said. Fluffy beginning, nice. Fluffy beginning, nice end. End. Excellent, excellent. Um, like a massage. <laughs> and a bit less level. <laughs> Can you take off some of the low end? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Five and a, and a comment, please. My comment is no comment. No comment. I really like that one as well. It's, it's funny, isn't it? How different people hear different things. No comments. Not very terrible. Not very useful. But I like a fuzz that I can do rhythm and lead with, and for it to do that, it needs to be articulate. Have was it? Clean. Did it have too much bass end? Way too much low end, and it, too it was a bit fluffy. Bassy. So it felt like it wasn't very responsive to what I was playing. Right, right. It's too fluffy. Like, like a like a chihuahua. You know, or, or you know, just too fluffy. <laughs> no, like a like really a, excited chocolate lab. Like a guinea pig that's one of those long-haired guinea pigs. It's just a bit too fluffy. Uh, anyway, two more pedals to go. Like an Indonesian whip spider. A whip spider? Mm. What's one of those? You don't want to come across one of those, bro. I definitely don't by the sounds of things. Not if it's big and fluffy and a spider. Um, <laughs> nah. Ready? Nah. Nah. <laughs> Back to the top again. Nah. Back to the top again. Ah! That was weird. Yes. And well, then I'm going to roll it off and see if it does that thing. darken it. Yes. I really 
like it. It's it's not a hundred percent of where I'd want it to be, but I love that clear, defined octave fuzz. So I'm going to give this an eight point one. Oh, it's good. It's not as good as the first one we played. It's funny, isn't it, how the first one... <coughs> uh, sorry, 8.1. Yes. What did, I, what did I score the first one? 8.4. Yeah, the first one was really good. It's so good that it stuck in my head how good it was. Oh, can you mute, please? <laughs> Last one. Thank goodness for that. Uh, okay, let's just put everything on 12 and see what... Happens. Wait, Unmute. I'm sorry, I, just, I just have to tune myself again. I need to piss as well, so sorry about that. Mute, I just thought yeah, I probably could hold on for another five minutes, but. <laughs> Lee is taking a piss. Lee is taking a piss. It's time to hear him whiz. He's taking a piss. Here we go! Star Trek! <coughs> Woo! <laughs> That's just not what I want to hear. No? No. Well, give us a chance. It's like. <laughs> It's like Bane, if Bane was a fuzz pedal. Can you make it less gangy, less nasal? Oh, 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 hang on. There's a switch on it that does something, and I'm right. just switching. That's good. Of course, a lot of these tones I didn't like could also be user error. As For in, sure. if I had my hand on it, I might find a sound I liked. Well, so maybe some is... of those harsh critiques were un unfound. <laughs> for lead but I don't like it for rhythm so okay. I'm going to give that a 7.9 okay uh, liked <coughs> for lead not for rhythm 7.9 now as before I am going to so that's the end of the that's the end of the, the, the little the shootout but what we're going to do so I'm going to just remind you guys uh, what Rob said and what he scored, but what we like to do, I like to do that, is to, um, <laughs> what like to hello, what I like to do is uh, <laughs> take the three pedals that scored the highest and just uh, chain them up and go ba 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 ba, and Rob goes, there's the winner. Uh, so, as you can see, the three pedals, well, I'll just go and get the three pedals that scored the highest. Uh, it was in no particular order, here is one that you liked. <laughs> Yep, good. Here's another one that you liked. Yep. And here's the last one that you liked. Okay, so I think it's the second one. The second one was this one. Do you see? Pedal 
Arnold should be proud of themselves. Well, do you want the reveal then? Yes. Okay, excellent stuff. Well, uh, actually, you've stayed true to form then because the one out of the three that you liked was still the one that you liked overall from the whole thing. So well done. Thank you. So in uh, joint second places, because I guess we didn't really... Oh, we didn't really choose a, a second and a third. But in joint second places, it has been a good day for MXR as they are both MXR pedals. One really? was the Slash... Huh. Octave fuzz. Oh man, I would never have uh, chosen that yeah. off the shelf. And the other was the MXR La Machine or LA right. Machine or whatever. But in a great day for the consumer who doesn't want to spend a small fortune on pedals. Oh my god, what have I chosen? The winner was the Electro Harmonics Octavix. Oh man, it's great. Uh, Octavix, which I suspect is is. If not, it won't, it won't be the cheapest one of the lot, but I think it's the second cheapest one of the lot. And I'm hoping that Rabir is furiously typing uh, Octavix into the Anderton's website now so that he can tell me how much they are. Uh, some of the other uh, amusing... Well, let's just tell you what you said. So you, the, the uh, Octavix, you said 8.4, rock bitch style, broken clean, Billy Jimmy vibe, very enjoyable. It's really good. And it costs... Drum roll, please. 87 quid. 87 pounds. Wow. So there we go. So that's, I think that probably makes it. So I, was, uh, I was totally expecting a boutique pedal, 180, 200 pounds. So some of the ones that I think I was a bit disappointed, well, I, I thought you marked the orange fur coat. You gave that a four. I thought that sounded really good. That was the second one you tried. The um, Tone City Fucks Fuzz, which to be completely honest <laughs> with you, is a bit of a nasty sounding fuzz pedal kind of fun but not the best that's you gave a 4.3 described it as a small weasel in a tube but it <laughs> but it is only it is only 40 quid if you look at it that's pretty much yeah. what it is so it? yeah it is it's a cheap a cheap a yeah. small weasel in a tube uh, number five which you didn't really like and in fairness uh i kind of agreed with you but it and it had a bucket load of other effects in it that we that we were trying not to switch on which is why it, it's oh, a bit it's more got confusing six knobs and two switches yeah There's so a the, the keely montre also has built-in rotary wah and vibe which what? we we didn't it's designed to be the sort of jimmy okay, in a box so pedal a pedal like that obviously you need you need to sit down with it for an hour yeah to work out what is in it so and uh, disregard any well score. you scored that as a five and you said it had a synthy sounding octave effect uh and, and actually, you said it was overly complex, even though you didn't know that it had lots of knobs on it, right. which I thought was interesting. Uh, the lowest score you gave of the day was to the Ren and Cuff Ace Octave Fuzz, which is probably the most boutique-y one out of all of these. So I there we go. Like it. No, that's fair Sorry, enough. Sorry, Ren and Cuff. Uh, you said that was Weasel's big brother. Uh, the Slash <laughs> was up there, which <laughs> you described as uh, really times two enjoyable. So really, really enjoyable. Yeah. Uh, gave that an eight. Uh, the Catlin Bread Octopussy, which is another one I really liked, and I think you really liked too. You said it's a bit unwieldy, bit unforgiving, fluffy beginning, nice Great end. end. Yes, you I gave that it. a 7.6. So that did okay. That can make it up into like, that was on the podium somewhere, maybe right. in like, a, like an honest fourth. <laughs> we need to build a little podium on here uh, and some medals we can give uh, them. This one I really <laughs> liked, and you just didn't like it at all. So the Octopussy, uh, sorry, the Octopus Prime by Bigfoot, which you said... No comment. Too bassy, too fluffy, and you gave it a five. Yeah. So that can sit down there. Uh, the La Machine, which was the other one which you gave an 8.1, you said, I really like, not 100%, but it is clear and defined, so that's up there. And then I think the one that I was disappointed, I thought this was going to make it, was the Greer Super Hornet, because what I really like, and obviously I couldn't really explain to you, was that the octave function on there is on a momentary foot switch. Right. So you can hit the note momentary like go into the octave and then See, take now, it off you, and come off which i think is cool if you didn't play live no you know it's just it's but if you play live and you're moving on a stage you don't want to be stuck to a, a place to do a thing but that's but this is where it literally ha comes with a remote control wheels kit and everything and you just have your roadie man just basically right, just okay, drives yeah. it around the stage so the, the only you. thing you ever need to do that with is a wire pedal or a volume pedal. Um, a anything else it just becomes anyway you right. said you liked it for lead not for rhythm and gave it a 7.9 so that actually officially was the fourth best one right so there were the top five but there Optimix was clearly the winner. a winner on yeah, every well. level you like the sound the best it's <clears> the most it's pretty much the most affordable yeah uh there you go rory just for you so you can scribble down the scores and malarkey and do some oh, elegant so glad way I managed to memorize that scriptly <laughs> 
yeah, these completely contrived and fixed blindfold pedal demos that we do are just yeah. the best. Yeah. Can't wait to do more of them. Can I have my notes later? Absolutely. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.